dad making French braids last night. So um, now we're just gonna take them out, and we should be left with nice crimped slash like wavy hair. what your hair should look like. Next we're going to go ahead and take some sections from um, underneath our hair. So we're going to part our hair in half like this. I'm going to go ahead and just move this out of the way and I'm going to grab two sections from back here about the same size. So they're going to be two sections from like underneath our ear. Here's one and then here's the other. So just like this. Next we're going to go ahead and create some rope braids. So um, we're going to split this in half and then we're going to twist both of these towards our face like this. So we're twisting both of them in the same direction towards our face and then we're going to twist each one like we're going to twist them together away from our face. So we're going to twist this way. And as you're twisting, you can continue to twist each individual section. Remember, we're twisting them towards our face and we're twisting them together away from our face. So now that we're at the bottom, we're just going to go ahead and place one of these little elastic thingies right at the end just to make sure it's secure in place and that it won't fall out or anything. So um, we're just going to go ahead and place that there and then we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side. So once again we're going to split it in half and then we're going to twist each one towards our face and we're going to twist them together away from our face. So I'm going to go and finish twi twisting this one towards my face. And now we're going to twist them away from our face, so we're going to go this way. Alright, so now that we have both of our little rope braids hanging down from down here, we're going to go ahead and create a headband with them. So um, I'm going to take this one, place it behind my ear, and then I'm just going to take it up. like this and then I'm going to secure it on this side with the bobby pin and then I'm going to go ahead and place this one in front of the one before and once again secure it with the bobby pin so today I'm going to be using Sebastian's um, Shaper it's the Sebastian original brush and bowl styling hairspray and I'm just going to go ahead and spray it everywhere so that everything just stays throughout the day and that we have no flyaways or anything like that <laughs> 